Hi, this is Santi from Just Spain. Uh, so we thought about doing some comparisons just so you have an idea of how containers of similar products look like when they're just like next to each other. Uh, so you get an idea of how they can compare. So we have a Prisma cake, a tag 50 gram, which could be a rainbow cake or a solid color, a chameleon color block, an arty brush cake, a tag one stroke, and a diamond effects mini blend. Uh, First thing that you, you see is like, oh my goodness, that uh, Prisma cake looks humongous compared to the other ones. Uh, if, you, if you look at that, the size of that container compared to that container compared to this container, even if I put it like that. Now, one thing to uh, keep in mind is that the container of the Prisma cake can be a little deceiving because though it looks that huge, the amount of pain is act that it actually has, it's smaller than the depth of the container and that's because a Prisma cake actually has like a pop-up part that you can see over here and it has this weight uh, that obviously doesn't have any paint there um, if you can see it over there can you see it over there mm -hmm. okay so actually Prisma cake only has paint from here to here okay and not all that extra thing so it's still a lot of paint in it and uh, just not as much as it looks like. So, uh, still it looks like a Prisma cake would be the biggest one and then the tag 50 grams. Of course, that's on the big range. Then on the other range, the containers of these three brands, Tag One Stroke, Ari Brush Cakes and uh, the Chameleon uh, are pretty much the same. The, the Tag One Stroke looks like it's actually a tiny little bit shorter um, than the Ari Brush one. Um, the amount of paint in these cakes really kind of varies. Uh, Chameleon seems to be the one that puts the most paint in them. Uh, and then Tag. And then Arty Brush cakes. And uh, so you, you do get also a price difference. And you know, Arty Brush are the cheapest one, but they do have the least amount of paint. Uh, of course, uh, when you compare it to the mini blends, then, well, the mini blends are the smaller ones of, of all cakes. Okay, we just kind of wanted for you to see also all the containers next to each other because sometimes you don't have that opportunity. So, uh, just wanted to show you that. Uh, and then, uh, let's see uh, a 90 gram wolf, 45 gram wolf, and a 30 gram wolf. Um, also, keep in mind that the bottom of the containers starts getting thicker. As you see, paint goes all the way just to here, and then you got all that. This is container. So, done, uh, you know, you see the height difference, and it's like, oh my goodness, this is so much higher. Well, yeah, it is higher. Uh, just don't get fooled by the extra container. Um, they do have more paint, obviously, and 90 grams has, should have about three times uh, the 30 grams, and the 45 is like one and a half of these. So, if you compare these ones to the diamond effects, it's like the circle of the diamond effects is a little bit bigger than a wolf. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Um, not that much of a difference, uh, but technically they have the same amount of paint. Um, haven't really actually waited to double check on that. Uh, and this is a 45 diamond effects versus a 45 wolf, and then uh, a 32 gram diamond effects versus a 30 wolf. Uh, I'm not sure what Anna wants me to do. I want to see them sideways just to see the height of it. Does it look like they have the same width of amount of paint in it's there? It's kind of hard to tell with the, all this, the screw parts oh, and whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, though the, the diamond effects should have a little more. They call it a 32 gram versus a 30 gram. So uh, this is just to, to compare. I have a problem with brands here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> now, now, we, now I have all the brands correctly uh, <laughs> lined up. So um, that's, that's another comparison. And then you have the 30 grams. And if I, I just compare, let's leave these ones aside. I just compare 32 grams from Diamond FX. Uh, I think the Chameleon calls them a 30 gram. Uh, and then a tag that also calls them a 32 gram. Uh, containers. Containers are the exact same container, just different, uh, you know, labels on top. And that's very common in the makeup industry too, that you'll see similar containers in different brands. Um, but they are all pretty much filled at about the same thing. And one thing to keep in mind with face paint, really what matters mostly, is not so much the weight as the volume, uh, because 
the same um, brand, for example, in metallics or uh, essentials and neons will have the same volume of paint but still have a, a different weight. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, now let's compare uh, different brands. Let's, let's compare a Fab with a Chameleon in, in, in containers and with a Wolf, for example, and a Cryoland uh, in a Paradise, just to have an idea. Let me put these other ones away. So here we have Chameleon, Fab, Wolf, Cryoland, and Paradise. Uh, let me take the lid off of the Cryoland so you can get an idea. And let me take the lid off the uh, Paradise. And let me take the lid off the Fab, and the Chameleon, and the Wolf. So you get an idea, a better idea of the paint. Um, if you compare sizes, the Fab is kind of about a little bit smaller. It's like the, the inside circle of the Krylon. Uh, so the paint-wise kind of has the same, you see it covers, so it kind of has the same diameter. Uh, it is a little bit shallower. Than, than the Krylon. The Paradise and the Fab have similar circles. They actually fit on the same liner and same goes to Wolf. Um, it just has this outer edge here, the Wolf, that makes it a little bit uh, look like a little bigger diameter. But if you see the, the inside part of the circle is about the same as the Paradise. So Paradise, Wolf, Fab, and Krylon, the inside circles are all about the same, the inside diameter. Uh, and Cryon is the one that's the tallest one. Next is the Paradise, and then we have Fab, and then Wolf. Uh, there's a price difference too that reflects the difference in the amount of paint uh, in each brand. So just keep that in mind. And then we can compare uh, uh, Snazaru. I forgot. Yay, Snazaru. Um, that's a Snazaru, and this is a Chameleon. Um, you can see pretty much also same diameters uh, and about the same amount of paint. One other thing, Snazaru also has like a tray, like the Prisma cake does. So when you, uh, this is the Snazaru the way you see it. This is the tray, it's like a plastic uh, tray and I can take that paint off and just show you. Uh, kind of nasty but don't look at it. Uh, That's from my ancient collection. Yeah, so you, you see uh, the container makes it also look a little bit taller than what that the amount of paint that it has, but it's pretty much the same amount uh, of paint that uh, Attack 32, uh, DFX 32, or Chameleon um, 30 gram. Um, and the last uh, thing that I wanted to compare are, oh, two more things. The Starlin and the Ben 9 Magic Cake. We just started carrying Ben 9 Magic Cake, so we wanted to show you. Um, this is a Starlin, uh, the uh, Ben 9 Magic Cake. Pretty much similar diameter, same diameter actually, in the containers. Um, and, and I would say very similar amounts of paint. Um, I don't see here, it said 2 ounce 56 grams, and this one says 22 grams. Uh, and it's supposed to be a 1 ounce. 0.77 ounce, it says the net, net weight, and this one does, yeah, net weight. So, um, Keep in mind again, volume more important really than weight. Different paints, different consistency, have different weights. So, but just so you have an idea. Um, and then the last thing is the refill sizes. Um, this is the Fab is not really a refill. It's just their smaller size. They don't have like a 12 color palette. Uh, so, but we wanted to put it to compare it with. This is uh, from a Diamond FX palette, but it looks the same as a Chameleon. Uh, palette and container wise or a, a tag palette. Uh, this is from the Wolf uh, small palettes, their appetizers, and this is from a Krylon palette. So it kind of goes, uh, these two probably have about the same amount of paint, which is like about 7 grams each. Uh, then this is a 10 grams, and I believe this is a 16 gram, I, I can't remember, 16, yeah, it. 16 grams. Um, so you can see them here, the refills. Uh, again, this is not technically a refill, so in this end, uh, this one is obviously uh, the biggest compared to the other two. Um, so that's all we are maybe soon, sometime, gonna try to make a video comparing the amount of milliliters of paint. Oh, and I forgot, tiny snazaroo. This is the, these are the ones that come in the little snazaroo uh, palettes. 
Uh, this is the smallest one of all. I'm not sure. Probably about four grams. Paint three grams. I'm not. I'm not quite sure on that. But you know, obviously, it's not like the one. It looks about the same as the Kryolan. Mm, no, the Kryolan. Smushed it in there. No, the Kryolan is taller. Cause that's a thicker container, though. Yep. Let's debate about it. What do you guys think? Write down in the comments. Well, it looks. Think? It really looks like Kryolan has more. <laughs> has more. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, look at it. It's just a lot taller. There's other uh, Snazaroo palettes that you can get from the supermarket and stuff that even have smaller, lesser amount of paint in them Yikes. too. So. Okay, so we might try to do also a video comparing the amount of paint like by millimeters, which is the best way of measuring by volume. Uh, not sure yet. When are we going to have time for that? But I hope you enjoy these comparisons and you got a better idea now of how different containers compare to each other and different brands compare to each other in size. Remember, we're just comparing the size of the containers to get an idea of the amount of paint. Okay. All right. Thank you so much and have a good time. Yay.